Hi folks, it's Arnold here. I hope this finds you in good health. To help put my last poem, Look and Live, in context, I have written this follow-up which hopefully will explain the circumstances around it and help you understand better just why that encounter was life-changing for Nicodemus and many millions of others ever since. You can find the full story in John chapter 3 and verse 16 is the key verse to the whole Bible. The Night Visitor It was night when he paid him a visit. Perhaps he just didn't want to be seen. A man of his standing was very reluctant for his colleagues to know where he'd been. His peers had been critical and jealous of this teacher who'd come out of the blue. But the crowds were enthralled by his teachings, which were different, yet somehow rang true. Then his miracles, before simply unheard of, demons cast out, water turned into wine, Intrigued, he determined to find out for himself if this stranger was truly divine. Until now, he'd considered himself a success. Wealth, position and religion he had tried. But deep down, he felt something was missing. Despite success, he was not satisfied. Now face to face with this teacher, he felt like a student once more. There was something intriguing about him that filled Nicodemus with awe. Rabbi, we know you're a teacher from God or you couldn't do what you do. God must be helping you perform these signs. So I'm here to see if that's true. He was puzzled by Jesus' opening words. If you want to see God's kingdom, he said, you must be born again. Nicodemus replied, how can I? And it messed with his head. I am not talking flesh, was Jesus' reply. It's the spirit who gives you new birth. You're a teacher in Israel and don't understand that it's God's Spirit who gives this new birth. This life from above is just like the wind. You can't see where it comes from or goes, but just as a rustling of leaves prove it's real, so this new birth from God always shows. Just as Moses lifted a snake on a pole, so those dying their health could regain. The Son of Man will be lifted up on a cross and all who trust him will be born again. For this is how much God loves the world. He gave his one and only Son and whoever looks to him and believes will know for sure a new life has begun. That night visit with Jesus, he'd never forget. For Nicodemus, a new life had begun. Now he knew this one who'd intrigued him so much was without doubt God's wonderful son. Dear listener, please pause to consider this new life that comes from above. It cost God everything his beautiful son, but comes free to you with his love. Thanks very much for taking the time to listen to my poem. I hope it was enjoyable and helpful to you. Please feel free to share it with anyone you think might appreciate it. If you would like to hear some more 
then just press the subscribe button. In the meantime, keep well and be blessed.